Good morning. Today, we're gonna to be taking apart a fuel filter for a 2006 six liter power stroke diesel. Um, this fuel filter has about 12,000 miles on it. I just, I don't know how I let it slip my mind, but it should be replaced every 10,000 miles. And Ford recommends that it, you're operating in extreme conditions such as a dusty environment, you replace it at the uh, 8,000 mile interval. But I wanna tear this apart and see what, what's actually in there. It looks pretty bad. Um, I have an air dog fuel filter installed. So this is just the secondary. The secondary fuel filter is the one that's inside of the engine compartment. And then your primary is the one that goes on the chassis which is trash because it's obviously not gonna go on the uh, air dog system. So just to be clear, here's your factory fuel pump and the primary filter fits on that one. That one's the one that's on the chassis frame rail. The secondary, which is the smaller one, goes in the engine compartment and when you buy the filter you can't just buy that one you buy them both and honestly it's pretty cheap I got that on Amazon for $37 so no big deal let me put my cigarette out and we'll tear this open and see what we find in there First of all, I'm gonna, uh, this is going to be impossible, but I do see debris piling up in the corners, but nothing like major. It just looks like a little bit caked. All right. I'm just going to twist this apart. Yeah, there's no way that's coming apart by hand. <coughs> Try some pliers. Oh, yeah, there you go. You see that? Oh, goodness. How does this even filter anything? Yeah, I'm just kidding, I know how it works. I just need to get this paper element. Hey, there we go. It's just falling apart. All right, real technical stuff here. Okay, so let's stretch this out. You know what? I don't really see anything. Now, I don't care where I get gas, I'm sorry, diesel. Not a real particular. Any gas station works. But I don't really see a problem here. I was curious but the particles that I'm filtering are probably smaller than I could ever see with my naked eye. Other than it looking saturated. I don't really see 
any problems. Well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> I really did, I didn't expect to see much. Anyways, I was just curious. I went ooh, 2,000 miles past the recommended interval and no big deal. Don't know how flimsy this is supposed to be. Maybe they deteriorate. I mean, I'm not even trying to pull this apart. But it seems like a pressed cardboard kind of thing. No, that's it. Um, hey, by the way, found these gloves on Amazon. There's your part numbers. Very, um, like I, I don't lose my, I don't know what to call it, dexterity, but I feel like it's basically still my hands and I'm keeping grease and crap off my hands and they don't fall apart like rubber gloves do and they don't cost what rubber gloves do with COVID. But these are nice gloves. I like these. I still feel like, you know, I can grab stuff and you know, I feel it. Sensitivity of my fingertips to help me turn bolts and nuts. Oh, sorry I bored you with that. I was hoping to find something. Bye.